What's up YouTube, it's Santa Brom Check again, and I hope you're all having a lovely holiday season. Now for Christmas, I've got something special planned for this YouTube channel. I partnered up with fellow YouTuber and Twitch streamer Sunny, and we ended up doing a bit of a special Christmas-themed charity challenge. So both of us built four decks, and we would play each deck against each other of our opponent's decks. But we gifted each other some special deck-building restrictions for Christmas, and that resulted in some pretty creative and pretty wacky decks as well as matchups and just some hilarious gameplay. So each of the videos will feature one of those decks and the games that I played against Sunny. And since Christmas is the season of giving after all, we decided to play for $10 each game that the loser would have to donate to a charity of the winner's choice. I ended up representing the Global Giving Climate Action Fund, while Sunny picked the Keep the Dream Foundation, which tries to empower orphaned and vulnerable children. I leave links to both of these charities in the description, and we're both hoping to encourage some of the viewers to to donate during Christmas time as well. Whether it's our projects or something else, there are plenty of nice charities to choose from and that are in need of some financial support. But now to get to the actual format and uh, the content of this video. The first deck I want to highlight today is built around Santa Brom. So the deck building challenge that I got from Sunny is this. Santa can only dream of having a stash as magnificent as the lobster moustache. So build a deck around cards that have a glorious beard or moustache. Santa Brom of course was a very natural fit for this and the whole Freljord tribe in general. They're all well equipped to deal with the cold and with winter and many of them have magnificent beards. Finding a good secondary region was not the easiest task but once I scrolled through the whole Noxus card base, I did realize, damn, some of them are rocking some pretty solid facial hair, and damn, this could build a very synergistic mid-range deck. What I really liked about the inclusion of Noxus is that we also have access to some very effective combat tricks that rock facial hair. We have Whirling Death as well as Bloody Business to take care of our opponent's biggest threats. And Bloody Business, of course, is fairly easy to activate in this deck because we have Averroes and Hearth Guards buffing our whole decks, as well as the core of the deck, the Legion Mar water army that just keeps on growing. So the core idea of this deck is uh, we mostly want to snowball a board lead in the mid game. We play some early chump blockers as well as draw cards and Ice Veil Archer as a defensive option for later on. But turn three is when we kind of start rolling. Ideally, we'll have the at attack token on turn three. We can go Draven or Marauder, either make use of these axes right away or make use of the Marauder buffs right away. We then just kind of want to curve out into Brommer Legion Veteran and on turn 5 we can already start with our power plays. Hearthguard sets up us just having bigger units than our opponent and eventually overrunning them on the board. While Strength and Numbers can be played as early as turn 5 if we bank spell mana and that can be very hard to deal with on turn 5 or 6. So th those are going to be our strongest plays. And then once we start moving towards the late game Game, we really want to set up either an Ursine Spirit Walker with the Plunder Effect as a Stormclaw Ursine. This is going to give all of our Marauders Overwhelm as well as our Hearth Guards, the buffed Legion Veterans, and very important, the Incisive Tacticians. By the way, look at that glorious mustache. But yeah, this is a key card in this deck, allowing us to rally. Um, also, Reputation Triggers also possibly a recipient of that Stormclaw Ursine plunder buff. And those are our finishers. We either try to just overrun our opponent with sheer stats value with the Marauders and so on, or for some overwhelm finish or some cheeky battle fury, maybe even on a mighty Poro from Braum, maybe on some unit that slips through. And at the same time, we can kind of control our opponent's threats with whirling deaths and bloody businesses. Overall, a very fun deck to play, a very synergistic, surprisingly synergistic mid-range list. I would also consider playing troll chance in this but for my own taste it was not really enough beard and since we were going for fun decks i did not want to play a card that is that strong but yeah this deck ended up having some pretty darn epic matches against sunny stacks now if you guys are interested on what sunny's decks were all about and what his deck building restrictions were you can either check out his youtube channel or twitch at the sunny is an active content creator as well a great personality makes some epic content so i I definitely recommend leaving a follower subscription there. But you can also just check
just check out his Mobilitics profile. Both of us uploaded all of our decks onto the Mobilitics profiles and you'll find the restrictions in the deck description. And I'll also show the deck building restrictions at the start of every game in every matchup. But without further ado, let's hop to the actual epic gameplay that Sonny and I had. Enjoy. Is it the Mustas? Who knows? All right. Um, so Ursine is going to be one of our win conditions, but we don't want to keep it in the opener. My opponent's deck isn't very fast. I'm thinking about keeping strength in numbers. I also don't run a ton of removal. We have the token on five. I think I like this keep. Besides that, we're looking for Marauder Draven. That's okay. That's also good. Oh, now we have a hand all of a sudden. Only issue is I'm not really playing combat tricks. I'm only playing Whirling Death and Bloody Business. I thought Throw Chant was, would be too cheesy to include. Even though, like, it's, it kind of does have a beard on it, but I, I don't know. Playing for charity and playing Troll Chant, I just can't... Like, align it with my conscience. Please don't mystic shot me, Sonny. Let me have my fun. Yes! Alright, we're getting it rolling. The only issue right now is I maybe should have planned mana better. Like, I maybe shouldn't have played Sentry on 2 so I can play something. Like, we need to bag 3 spell mana here. Yeah. No, we can't really play it. No! Draw me a 2 cost unit, please. So good at this game, I can't believe it. Do we get rid of... Is it really Braum? Or a Draven? I can't, I can't get it over my heart to discard a Santa Braum that's prismatic. It's just gonna be this guy. Let's take control of the board and next turn we pop off. Open both stream right now. Major spoilers on both ends. Thank goodness the Shock Blast is already gone. Ooh, okay, it's still gonna be a 2-5. I have to attack with this for sure. It's an easy block with a Starlet Seer, knowing that I don't play anything that threatens more damage. Seems like Sunny has other plans. Okay, I guess it's just Hearthguard development here. Oh no, I drew this a bit too too early. Well, I could go for a Bronte card kind of thing. The thing is, I still need to... Like, I want to get the Plunder trigger through next turn for sure. But right now I can't. Hearthguard, I suppose. I can go Bronte card next round. Okay, and that's a block on the... Ooh. Still, I need to push damage through first. Oh, I misclicked. I wanted to play Braum. Ah, oh, no, that sucks. Now the Marauder can get removed. I guess we just start stacking up Braum. Not much else to be done. We sent this guy into the fray. Yeah, I wanted to not play Draven, but instead take hard this Marauder to keep it alive, keep it healthy for some Ursine action later on. You are what? No! <laughs> I need some type of sad emote. It's what my emote lineup is missing right now. I don't know if it's worth to axe here. I don't think it is. Right now it's looking like we're playing for value. 
Ooh. That hurts, though. Sonny just took care of all of my win conditions. Hello, hello, what's up, everyone? Santa Lobster? I'm doing the best Santa Brom impression I can do. Okay, wait, let's see how many freezes Sonny is playing. One flash freeze. No harsh winds, but one three sisters as well. Two freezes overall. I mean, I think we always play Spirit Walker here. And then we can consider if we need bloody business. If our opponent plays something like Vi. Or Shrunde. Let's go. Okay, now we can open attack and trigger plunder. Ooh, can we set up lethal somewhere? I don't think so. I want to go for the earth sign anyway. There's no way I'm already going for a battle fury. So my opponent's only real scare card is Field the Rush right now, and maybe Howling Abyss. Vi and Sejuani are annoying. Doesn't look like my opponent's holding them. Like, Battle Fury on Draven might be good, but it's lame. I'm definitely not going for it. Gotta love it. Chase! Oh no, Jace could actually be scary. I need to take him out right now, I think. Hope my opponent doesn't have Troll Chunter or Freeze. Oh, then I missed the take heart again. And blows. No! Oh, we're so doomed. Oh, let's go. We need this guy to survive though, and he's not surviving right now. No! This is so bad for me. Small Vi though. <laughs> But ignition into double cast acceleration gate is nasty. Even this thing becomes scary. Oh, life steal. Challenger. Oh. What did you get? Elusive. Regen, that's fine. Impact, that's also fine. Okay, no overwhelm at least, and Vi doesn't level. We play this as sacrificial fodder. And then we can still play the Marauders, go for the immediate backswing. Wait, Battle Fury Brawn block? We can Battle Fury with this actually, that probably makes most sense. Yeah, we have to Battle Fury this, then play Strength in Numbers. Ooh, this is brilliant. No, don't! Sunny! The hacks are real. Per oh, he plays perfectly around Battle Fury, that's cruel. Alright, we're not closing out the game next turn.
Okay, who do we need to take out here? The pillar? Jace or Vi? I guess it's Jace. Now this is the real question. I think we let the pillar live, but then again Braum gets vulnerable. I don't care about Braum getting vulnerable, right? Wait, no, he's not getting vulnerable. The, these guys are getting vulnerable. Vi block? What do you have? What kind of plans do you have with the ballistic bot? Are you playing ambush? No, I don't see it. Also, Percival, maybe. This Percival could be scary. Alongside Tom Burn? Oh no. Oh no. It's happening again. Let's go! Big top decks. Oh, get out of my face, Sejuani. I'll show you pain. But now if Sunny has a mystic shot, I'm in some deep trouble. It's 20. <laughs> Wait, we actually just win? <laughs> Ignition in to get the free trade. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's something I we didn't expect. Cast. I should have counted. <laughs> no. Any meowers in the chat? I got absolutely crushed. <laughs> I pull Braum and I hope he doesn't have anything. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, that was winnable. But I really didn't expect it. I should have not won this game at all. Uh, okay, okay. G to the G. <laughs> uh... The end is meow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, we'll be playing Santa, Brom, and the Marauder army. Okay, so we need to survive a huge power swing. I don't think we want Braum in the opening hand. We want to draw him after Hearthguard, I think. Just look hard for Marauders. We got the token on Ots again, so Marauder and Strength in Numbers is really good. That's why it's Draven. This time I won't scuff my mana management, though. I'm not playing Sentry on 2. No! I need the sad Poro. We got three into four into five, and then we pop off. The party has arrived. Got axes, need victims. Give me those axes. Oh, this is a very easy Draven level up, actually. But Marauder should still be more important. Hmm, 
I like the Whirling Death. Going for the level up is a bit too crazy though, I think. Actually, I'd probably use Draven's Whirling Death. was a bit trolly, considering my opponent doesn't main deck freezes. And I'm now overdrawing? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I messed up. That was actually really bad. It would have been better to just have the veteran there. No! Not the air side. That was horribly mismanaged. Oh, it's a play effect. into bloody business. Nothing escapes my watch. Look out for reavers. I don't like the attack I get uh actually whirling death. It's better than bloody business, right? I get a free open attack with the Marauder if Sunny loses the Troop of Anax here. Otherwise I wouldn't be getting the buff because... or I wouldn't be getting... Ooh. Ooh! Let's go! Beard's over fur any day! Okay, never mind. I might have spoken too soon. Nope. Definitely not. Can't even <laughs> clear this one out. What you gonna do, Sonny? I guess you've got a million chump blockers. Oh, this feels so good. 3 mana 8 7? We're <laughs> like 3 mana 12 11. Gotta love it. Sometimes the game plans just come to fruition. Sometimes everything just works out perfectly. <laughs> the Annex have let Sunny down. Lista. You can find the list in the uh, challenge command or in the dex command. Oh, 16 15. Let's go. Oh, minus 71. 
Well, at least now we know. Now we know that humans are stronger than animals. I'll start with the, the rock deck. All right, perfect. Well, rocks versus beards, let's see. Let's see who prevails. <laughs> Any rocks with beards? I mean, Malphite kind of has a beard, technically. It's true, it kind of looks like it. All right, so this is going to be a classic mid-range. A mash up and match up. We're mainly looking for stats. This time we don't have the token on three. Bloody business is generally good, probably not here. Path guard should be a keep. Yeah, Draven is still good just because it enables Grave Physician. Yeah, it looks like an okay opening. No, it looks good. The only issue is my opponent has the better combo finishers in Malphite. But we have better scaling through Marauders. So it's gonna get really interesting. Yeah, I'd definitely rather sacrifice a Draven than a Marauder. And we're getting smorked by a chip. Uh oh. Rip. Can go straight into Talia, but there's no landmark to copy right now, at least. Okay, saving this for a Malphite turn, I believe. Ah, oh, maybe I should have looked more aggressively for a two drop. I didn't expect such a fast opening. Start buffing Marauders. Just trades into Chip, though, or I go two drop, two drop. Actually, it's probably just Legion Veteran. We just go for stats for now. We don't have strength in numbers anyway. There's not that much merit. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, we're getting all tempoed here. Did look like my opponent had more units, I think. Okay, nice. Okay, this is gonna go straight into Malphite, isn't it? But he's not leveled yet. 8 out of 10. I think I have to go triple 2 drop here. Tictitia looks too... Gr I don't want to swing into a Malphite, though. Yeah, it's probably still triple 2 drop. Ooh. That's actually a really good find. Heart is the strongest muscle. Wait, what? Oh, oh, Crescent Strike? A Moon Glow. That's hot. One Shaped Stone left in the deck. Do I risk it? No balls. <laughs> it is easy, see? Okay, now we have to hope for no landmarks. Ouch. If, if uh, Sunny has a landmark here, we're dead anyway. Damn, this rock tag really smashes us. I don't think I can do anything about this. What a chat deck.
Nerf modified. <laughs> Can I unprismatic him to be a little less lucky, maybe? <laughs> Don't Good steal luck. my marauders. Don't you dare. <laughs> I won't, I won't. I'll just steal the spell. Alright, that's very kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need those marauders. I'll just take strengths in numbers. Yeah, attack token is very important with this deck. Getting Draven Marauder as well as um, strength in numbers on your attack token is so much better. Okay, Sunny's playing a burn deck now. These old eyes still see far and clear. Another one? Another one! <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious right now? We need some DJ Khaled up in here. <laughs> Twice! Alright, great! <laughs> Oh, man. I have the best job. One mana here, too? Yeah. That's one way to look at Jailbreak. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So we're gonna bank mana here. Right Actually, do we? We can go hard guard on five and strength in numbers on six. Nah, no, let's let's see. This is a good blocker anyway. I think I prefer hearth card. Let's take it slow. Our is yours. <laughs> Funny thing is, it would be to discard it right now, so Sonny can't yoink it. Discarded strength Sorry, and numbers, I so this. I couldn't steal it. <laughs> ah, all right, for my no unit deck, I get an Everose and Hearthguard. <laughs> he plays no units in his deck. <laughs> I love it. Man, I'm going for some serious anti-brain plays in this matchup. Okay. Okay. Might actually get outvalued here. Hmm. We'd like to draw the third hearth guard thing. Oh my god, wait. Alright. The game is making up for those four threes that we got. <laughs> Take Everos and I I'm I'm gonna do that that combo at some point, but I kinda need to wait for his um Legion Marauders because those will win him the game. Ooh, there we go. I 
I mean, we should be outvaluing Sunny, right? I think. Just pull out the, the hearth guard aside. <laughs> Fair. Wait, does Sunny play Glimpse? Plays Glimpse, damn it. I don't have anything to put bloody business on. I'm not sure if we are valuing Sunny anymore. If he finds enough nap cards, we might be on the wrong end of this. There's not much I have here to try to win the game. The only issue. Oh, come on, can you... Alright, time to flip uh, the switch. He found naps, which is very scary. The table is set. Now we die. Now he gets really good blocks here. Yo! Chill. <laughs> that shit kinda shuts down my attack. Let's go for board control. Could try to rush the Braum level up, I don't think it helps too much. What we really want is a uh, Spirit Walker. Uh oh. <sighs> okay, low value pull. Got fortunate there. Oh my goodness. Actually getting outvalued. There we go. Alright. Okay, we get the Spirit Walker here, though. Another possession. Right, this time if I steal something, I don't have a way to actually kill it, though. And I think Sunny only has one possession left, so this one probably sticks. In case, I should probably do this. Just in case we rally, I should do that. Okay. Because I could die otherwise. So it's technically possible for us to run out of steam, but it's unlikely. Like, or rather, we'll probably end the game before we run out of steam. Just because Sunny's deck can't really put up a solid defense outside of a third possession into another glimpse. But who knows what Sunny yoink from our deck? <laughs> no! No! Oh, jeez. The young fight for glory, I fought for legacy. Stand behind Bro! Ah. Yeah, I can't let this go through. Could have gone for Ice Veil Archer. Ooh. Okay, I might be dead. <laughs> oh my goodness, I might be dead here. Actually, it could be... Bloody Business on the keg. Ah, uh, my misplay though. I didn't consider... It. Sunny yoinking <laughs> frick! Oh my goodness! Yeah, well, you can't win. Just take opponents' cards that let you win. Really I guess. didn't think about it. Monkey business. Ah, oh, wait! I can just Did try we the actually just win? <laughs> There's no way. 
No, no, no. I knew it. No. <laughs> no. We lost. It was so close, though. Okay. One shot, <laughs> one opportunity. That was the one thing that I was afraid of. The oh, no. You're <laughs> kidding me, dude. Come on. Hold it. Okay, there's nothing he can nap for our deck. It's just make it rain. That's scary. <laughs> Let's go. I oh top my goodness. decked a parlay. Almost lost to a deck that plays no <laughs> units and steals freaking ever rolls and hard cards. Oh. Whew. So the glorious beard deck ended up on a 2-2 two and two score. That means that as of right now, I will be donating $20 to the Keep the Dream Foundation and Sunny will be donating $20 to the Climate Action Fund that I'm representing. And tomorrow I'll showcase the second spicy deck of the series. As you might guess, on the 25th of December, I will post this deck. Just a little teaser. It might have something to do with puff caps and traps. So last thing to say, if you're not subscribed to Sunny yet, I leave a link in the description. And if you are financially able, I would really appreciate if you would consider donating for a good cause during this Christmas time. With that being said, have a lovely, lovely Christmas and I hope to see you again tomorrow.